So, in case you don't follow me on Twitter, I actually teamed up with Zeke and Verge for RLRS under the team name Dignisauce. This is the cool logo that Zeke made for us. It's pretty awesome, not gonna lie, but anyway, we made our roster announcement on Twitter and directly called out our rival, Scuff Station Gaming, which is Sunless, Leth, and Musty. They didn't seem to like it too much, so we took it upon ourselves to try and make RLRS and Scrim Against Scuff Station to further prove our dominance. We trained every day and night for this moment, and the day had finally come where we would prove ourselves by dominating the qualifiers. Everything was falling into place. Verge had been giving opposite advice since a year prior to make our opponents less smart when going against us. It was all coming together, and this was our moment. Nice. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> So, things didn't really go as planned. I don't know what you're expecting since you literally read the title before clicking on this video, but yeah, we didn't exactly achieve our goals. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> it's okay, y you wouldn't understand. So anyway, I couldn't just walk away and pretend like nothing happened, so I've put together a list of excuses as to why I didn't make RLRS. Hope you enjoy! Number 1. My teammates suck. I'm just kidding, I'm genuinely just not good enough. The thing is, I may be GC, but I've got a long way to go before I can get anywhere near pro level. We saw in my last video that I'm simply just not fast enough, my mechanics aren't as consistent, I don't know where I need to be, and my brain just doesn't process situations as fast as anyone else. Does that make all my other tutorials useless? No, of course not. The point of my tutorials is to help you get through the learning process faster because I've already been through it. I may not be the best player in the world, but I know I'm decent at explaining things and analyzing mistakes, which not everyone, even at the pro level, is good at. Take Verge for example. He's the coach for the European RLCS team Dignitas, in case you don't already know. He may not be better mechanically than each of the players he coaches, but he's extremely good at analyzing mistakes and explaining solutions in a very clear way. On top of that, having an outside point of view on gameplay can sometimes be crucial to adapting mid-series. Think about it like this. If you're in a team of three and your teammate says something to you like, Hey dude, I noticed you're throwing away possession a lot. Your first thought might be that he's just trying to shift the blame for losing off of himself. But if you have a completely unbiased, knowledgeable coach watching the gameplay and he says the exact same thing to you, the thought of someone shifting the blame goes completely away so you're much more likely to try and fix the issue. But that's a topic I could make a whole other video about. Okay, back to RLRS. Overall, it was a super fun experience because realistically, Verge and Zeke are both much better than I am. You guys should check out both of their channels because they're making some awesome videos as well. I'm not going to upload my entire perspective of our qualifiers, but if you want to check it out, Zeke's perspective will be in the description. As well as our scrim against Sunless, Musty, and Leth. I don't have much else to say, I appreciate you sticking through this pretty unique and short video, and let me know in the comments what's your best excuse for not making RLRS. I'm curious to see what you guys can come up with. Other than that, have an awesome day. I been all in my bag, you been all in my business, you be all in your feelings, I been all in them trenches, I been all in my bag, you be all in my business, know they notice me flexing, fit in all of my fitness. I've been all in my bag.